Elbow pain right here can be very annoying, painful, and last for weeks. And many times people don't even play tennis who have this pain. Because they call it tennis, tennis elbow. elbow. Exactly. I had this same problem a few years ago, and it was going on for weeks. I was doing typical treatments that us therapists do. It was getting better, but not near fast enough. So we looked into a new option. Now, now, just to be clear about, there's some typical symptoms with this elbow pain is you're oftentimes going to irritate it by like grabbing a doorknob and twisting hard, or if you bump into this area right here, like walking through a doorway and you hit the door frame, it can be really painful. Gripping, pulling, that'll set it off. If that's what you have, this is going to work very well for you. So tennis elbow is actually called lateral epicondylitis and it is located where Brad is pointing on Sam the skeleton there. Oftentimes it is due to a repetitive movement over and over again. So yes, that does happen in tennis, but oftentimes this happens with people who are typing a lot. That's right. Or maybe a weekend warrior where you don't do too much and all of a sudden one weekend you've got a big painting project going on and you're using that and it flares it up. So anyways, what we need to do in a common irritant is the muscles here actually connect up to that point. They all connect there. The muscles, the tendons actually start to tear away from the bone right there a little bit. Inflames become very tender. And if these muscles are not relaxed, it's going to cause pain and actually make the pain go on for weeks on end until you get these muscles to relax, allow circulation, take stress off of the point. So oftentimes, if you see a physical therapist, they'll have you do an arm straight out, stretch, pushing your wrist down like this, and then they'll get into some deep, aggressive massaging. But this doesn't always work for everyone. Right. So I found a technique from a Dr. Lawrence Jones. This is called a strain counter strain. It's been around for decades, actually. There has been research on this technique with great success. And I tried it. And it worked wonderfully. I thought, why didn't I do this a long time ago? So we're going to show you the simple technique. Once you get set up, it takes 90 to 120 seconds. And it is that particular. So let's go into it. All right, so this technique known as strain counter strain historically, actually now it's changed into positional release. We're not gonna get into why they change it. It's not important. I'm gonna demonstrate the technique on my left arm. Michael demonstrated his on his right. It's the same thing. It is nice. I'm gonna do it as if you're seated at a chair at a countertop or a table. You could do it seated in any recliner and use a couple pillows just so you can relax the involved arm. So we're gonna start out with a test. You go to the sore muscles that are tight and tender and you're going to push in and go back and forth and find that tender spot. When you find it, you're going to stop and you're going to give that pain that you created by that pushing on that tender spot a number. 10 means you're screaming and yelling. Zero means there's no pain at all. Mike, we just did this before. What do you get? I'm at an eight. Ow, oh. ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Some you're yelling. You're a really good actor, Mike. Thank you're, you. He's going to go well in Hollywood. So you're going to look. You know, you're probably going to be over five, seven, or eight, whatever it is. Then you're going to write it down or just take a mental note. Now for the technique, it's very simple but specific. So you're going to take that arm and flex the elbow, bring it up, and flex it. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is take your palm and open it up with the other hand and we're gonna extend it. So this is extension. Take this hand over your fingers. Now you're not gonna push down into an aggressive stretch. It's just the relaxed stretch. And once you get to that point, you're gonna monitor how the muscle feels here. Now at this point, that pain should be released and feeling better. Now you're gonna actually rotate your palm, and that's like this, and you're gonna stop at a position that this area feels the most comfortable, okay? And you'll feel it go around, and if you don't feel anything, you can put it anywhere, but typically you're gonna find one area, mine is right there, feels good. You find the most comfortable area? Yeah, mine's over here. It's a little more stretched out there, but it feels good here. Right, and that's exactly what you're going to look for. Now, at that point, you need to have a timer. Either someone timing you or looking at your cell phone or whatever, and you're going to go for 90 seconds. You're going to be completely relaxed, and 90 seconds is going to take a little while, you know? It does. <laughs> yeah, because when you're holding this position, but the big thing is relax and breathe. Just let that muscles relax. So the 
idea is those tighten muscles while you're doing this for that 90 seconds, they will actually release the muscle spindles relax. If you take the course, it tells you why it happens neurologically. We're not getting into it. After 90 seconds, now you can go to 120 seconds if it's feeling good, but no more than that. But at least 90 seconds. When you're at that point, time is up, Mike. Simply let go slowly and relax and do not do anything fast with that arm, kind of straighten it out, work the wrist back and forth in a slow motion, and we wanna keep those muscles relaxed. At this point, you can do a gentle massage, and then we're gonna retest on that same point, just like you did prior to the technique, and push, you were at an eight before, Mike, now it's at a four. Now it's at a four. So if you get significant pain relief, you're knowing doing you're doing, you're doing the right thing. Now, oftentimes you'll get better than half. He went from eight to four. I wouldn't be surprised if you go down to a one or a two. At that point, your whole goal is, is after you're done for the next 30 minutes to an hour, you're not going to be aggressive with this hand. Hopefully you can schedule it so that you can do some work that does not stress this. The other thing you're going to want to do is activities that consistently irritated your elbow, you need to stay away from those. And you're gonna do this technique every one to two hours for that first day. The second day, you're gonna feel much better and you're gonna do it less and less. And it'll improve. If it is the right technique, if these muscles are the cause of this chronic pain, which oftentimes the case, you will have good success with this. It's amazing. So today's product we're talking about is the Q2 Massager. It comes in three color options. We have blue, black, and red. So this massage gun comes with five different heads Brad is holding there. We really like the air head, which is a cushioned one because it can work well in bony areas as well as the round head. The other heads are very good, but they're more for a specific trigger point area. And it also comes with this convenient carrying case where it can hold everything you need. This has been one of our most popular massage guns. We've had it for about three years. It's small it only weighs one pound it's great for traveling with it has a seven millimeter amplitude meaning how far into the muscle belly it can get and a 32 pound stall force which is pretty strong for a massage gun that only weighs one pound that's right and the nice thing about it is the cost you'll get these anywhere from 69 dollars maybe plus or minus depending on what you find on amazon it's a great device you will not be unhappy with it it is also rechargeable simply plug it in typically mm -hmm. takes two hours to charge and roughly lasts about four hours depending upon how intense you have it. There you go. Enjoy your massage gun. BobandBrad.com. You can get it there as well, I think. Can yes. You? Yeah, okay. Our store section. <laughs> All right. So I did this on my elbow just like we did. Actually, mine went away almost completely within one to two days. We made a video on this three years ago. We put it out to everyone in the uh, YouTube world and there was much gracious response. People were very thankful. We wanted to put another one out so you can experience the same. But if it doesn't work, Mike has the answer. So we have another video on how to treat tennis elbow. You can click the video link on the screen. This one involves using the dull side of a butter knife. Yeah, it's actually it's an interesting technique and it works well. One or the other should cause great success. Cause great success. I didn't really want to say that, but that was a weird it's way to getting, phrase it. uh, it's, I'm tired. <laughs> most famous physical therapist on the internet.